All right, all right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today? Hello, Nancy Sanchez. Hi, Carla Galdames. Hello, Rosaura Madrid. Good night, teacher. Hello, Salvador. Hello, Jenny. Hi, Carla. Hello, Eduardo. Hi, Hi, Kevin. Good evening. Buenas noches. ¿Cómo están todos? ¿Cómo se sienten? Pretty good, teacher. Pretty good. That's good. Nice. Yeah. Relax. Relax from the cuarentena. <laughs> okay. Uh, yesterday, class, we were looking at this information right here. Repeat, please. It's 2 o'clock. It's 2 o'clock. clock. It's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. It's two o' five. Two o' five. It's two fifteen. It's two fifteen. It's two forty five. Oh, sorry. It's two thirty. It's two thirty. It's half past two. It's it's half past two. It's 2.40. It's 2.40. It's 20 to 3. It's 20 to 3. It's a quarter to 3. 
It's a quarter to, quarter three. to three. Or it's 2.45. It's 2.45. 2.45. All right. Now, for this activity, eh, the tarea tenían que escribir en esta parte eh, estas horas, pero de diferentes formas. Quiero ver. It's 8 a.m. It's 12 a.m. It's 3 p.m. Mm -mm, incorrect. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. It's 2.30. Tampoco. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 8 a.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's midnight. Okay, aquí se va bien. It's 3 in the afternoon. It's 3 p.m. Okay, esta está buena. Así la tenían que haber hecho. Así como está esta, la que dice time. Esta es de Hugo Sarviera. Okay, good job, Hugo. Excellent. All right, si no la hicieron, les queda de tarea. Y si la hizo mala, hágala bien. Let's look at section number 5.4. We're going to be moving on to section number 5.4. Instructions. Look at the clocks and select the two possible correct answers for the hours displayed on each watch. Listen and repeat. Instructions. Instructions. Look at the clocks. Look at the clock. Look at the everybody, clock. everybody. Look at the clocks. Look at, Look the, at clocks. the clock. Look at the clock. And select the two possible. And select the, the two, the two possible. possible correct answers. Correct, correct answers. answers. No, no, no answers. No, la, la doble U no se pronuncia. Answers. 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 Answer. Answer. Answers. Answers. For the hours displayed. For the, For the hours, hours displayed. displayed. On each watch. On each watch. Each watch. Each watch. Ok, quiero un voluntario, un valiente que levante la mano. Que levante la mano. One volunteer, please. Carla Umaña levantó la mano. Ok, primero va a ir Carla, después va a ir with Montalvo. Ok, Carla, quiero que lea las instrucciones. Okay, Empezando okay. desde la palabra instructions. Eh, ahorita. Instruction. Y, perdón, instruction. Look at the looks and select the two possible correct answers for the hours displayed on each watch. Very good. Applause for Miss Carla. Only one observation, Carla. Eh, la palabra clocks. Repeat. Clocks. Clocks. Al clocks. inicio es como una K. Clocks. Clocks. That's right. Okay. Clocks. With Montalvo, you are next. Action. Uh, repito la instrucción. That is correct. Read the instructions, okay. please. Instructions. Look at the clocks and select the two possible correct answers for the hour displayed on each watch. Very good. No observations. Good job. Now we're going to look at instructions. Observe los relojes e seleccione las dos posibles respuestas correctas de las horas que se muestran en cada reloj. So, a mí no me ha cargado la foto. ¿A ustedes les han cargado la foto? Sí. Sí. Ok. Ok, tienen que escribir, eh, darle clic a dos maneras de decir la misma hora que le aparezca la foto. ¿Ya todos hicieron esta actividad o no? Sí. Yeah. Sí, ya. Yeah. ¿Todos la hicieron ya? Ok. Sí. La vamos a hacer juntos. ¿Quién me puede decir la número uno? Number one. Mary. Um, it's 10 to 7. 
It's eight six fifty. It's six fifty. Okay. Number three. Raise your hand. Number three. Raise your hand. Number three. Yo se la digo, teacher. Okay. Okay. Uh, it is a forty-five. It, it is okay. Forty-five. It's ten to seven. It's six fifty. Uh -huh. It's eight. Uh huh. Forty-five. Uh huh. It, it, it is a water to nine to a nine. Quarter. Quarter. Como una ca. Quarter to nine. Mm -hmm. Quarter. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Ok, ¿quién más levantó la mano? Jenny Quesada, number four. It's five after eleven. It's five after eleven. It's eleven o five. It's eleven o five. All right. The next one, number five. Number five. Ok, Eduardo, number five. It's 3.15 and it's a quarter after three. It's 3.15, it's a quarter after three. Number seven, the last one. Number six. Yes, number six, somebody. Okay. It's half past four. It's half past four, thank you. It's four, sorry. It's 4.30, very good, let's check. All right, good job, ladies and gentlemen, 10. Excellent work. All right, at this moment, uh, does anybody have any questions about this information? Do you have any questions referring this exercise? Nobody, okay. Now we are going to go ahead and continue. 5.5. By the end of this class, you will be able to understand rising and falling intonation in yes, no questions and WH questions. Eh, vamos a aprender sobre la entonación de una pregunta. La, la entonación al final de la pregunta es creciente o decreciente. Creciente quiere decir que es como cantadito. Right? Do you like pizza? Or, do you like pizza? Or, do you like pizza? Right? So, ahí vamos a ver las intonations diferentes. This is very important. Please pay attention. If you have any questions, I would like for you to please get out your notebook and your pen. And I want you to write the questions in the notebook. And after, I am going to help you. <laughs> intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, 
there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. All right, at this moment, does anybody have any questions? Alguna pregunta en este momento antes que continuemos? No, teacher. No? Okay. Ahora, vamos a analizar... Boys, while speaking. Quiero que vean, quiero que le pongan ojo al tipo de pregunta que lleva rising intonation y el tipo de pregunta que lleva falling intonation. ¿Quién me puede decir cuál es la diferencia entre ambos? Ok. Ok, Carla, dígame por favor. Sería en la fuerza de la pronunciación. Uh -huh. El rising es la fuerza uh -huh. es al final uh -huh. y el falling la fuerza es al inicio de la pregunta. Correct. Carla, good job. That is correct. Ding, ding, ding. Pero la pregunta sería, ¿cómo sé? ¿Cómo identifico yo? How do I know if I'm going to up the intonation or drop the intonation? How do I know that? What is going to tell me? ¿Qué me va a decir? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good. Ding, ding, ding. Jenny. Correct. Cuando es una WH question, tú automáticamente sabes que la pronunciación va a bajar. Por ejemplo, si yo te digo, what's your name? En esta parte, ¿cómo lo voy a pronunciar? What? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? O sea, que el WH, el what, es como cantadito. What's your name? ¿Ok? ¿A dónde vives? Where do you live? Where do you live? Where, where do you live? The intonation is where. Eh, hmm. que digamos, ¿con quién vives? Who do you live with? Yeah. ¿A dónde va la intonation? La, el, el emphasis. Who, correcto. So, todas las preguntas que empiezan con WH, sabemos que la, el, el emphasis está al inicio y al final cae. Pero, sin embargo, cuando te hago preguntas con el verbo to be, is, are, ¿a dónde va la intonation? Finish. Al final, that's right. At the end, for example, if I say to you, is your teacher Mr. Santos? ¿A dónde va a ir la intonation? Final. Mr. Santos, si yo te digo, no. ¿eres feliz? Are you happy? ¿A dónde va la intonation? Happy. Ok, so estamos viendo que eh, cuando la pregunta empieza con una WH, what, where, when, how, why, who, la, el énfasis va al inicio y al final cae la pronunciación. Eh, lo contrario, cuando empieza con el verbo to be, is or are, sabemos que la intonation eh, sube al final. La parte del final es cantadito. Is your teacher Mr. Santos? 
Are you happy? Right? Any questions? No. Any questions? No. Okay. So, in este momento, lo que vamos a hacer es en la parte de abajo. Quiero que me escriban por lo menos 10 oraciones utilizando ambos. Me puede dar 5 con WH y 5 con el verbo to be. Y quiero que las escriba acá. Si quiere ponerle la respuesta, it's okay. Pero no es necesario. Yo lo que estoy buscando es que pueda articular las dos tipos de preguntas. Pregunta cerrada y pregunta abierta. Any questions? Any questions? Somebody have any questions? Anybody, somebody, one body, two body, nobody, anybody? No. You body, body? Nobody. All right. <laughs> okay. We're going to work in pairs. In pairs. In pairs. Lo vamos a hacer en parejas, pero cada quien lo tiene que hacer en su platform. Okay? Porque si no, no le va a contar. Let's go, let's go, everybody, yeah. Iniciamos. Sí. Ok. You first. O, o en I. Vaya, vamos a hacer cinco. Vamos a una y una. Sí. Vaya. What is. What. Sí. Is. Modern name. Okay. What is your modern name? Okay. Otra. What is your favorite animal? Okay. Vamos ahorita. What? What is your Animal, okay. With the next is, are you hungry? Okay. Otra. Are you okay? <laughs> okay. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Who is she? Who is she? Mm -hmm. Is she your sister? Is she your sister? Okay, ¿cuántas llevamos? Seis. Okay, is she your sister? He's cry. Is he crying? Is he crying? En presente sería ING. Is he crying? Crying. Is he crying? Mm -hmm. Where do you live? Okay. Where do you live? Where do you from? Where, 
where do you from mm -hmm. y la última puede ser is he is he is he uh, is he tall is he alto o puede ser is he a doctor uh -huh. is a doctor muy bien Y ahí están las 10. Están las 10, ¿verdad? Sí. Vamos a ver. Sería, what, what is mother's name? What is your favorite animal? Uh -huh. Are you hungry? Are you okay? Is she your sister? Who is she? Is he crying? Where do you live? Where do you from? And is he a doctor? Ok, solamente una observación ahí, eh, cuando decís, eh, is, where is she do you doctor? ¿Cómo fue que hizo la pregunta? Is he a doctor? Is he a doctor? ¿Cuál era la otra? Where do you from? Where do you from? Where are you from? Ah, ahí sería, where are you Where are you from? Where are you from? Where? Ajá. Sí, lo tenemos. Ok, veo que ya terminaron. Sí. Yes. Hi, Jenny. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Very, very good right here, working hard. Okay. <laughs> See, what happened? What happened? Why am I here? I don't know. You have to give a click where it says Salir, uh, no, Entrar, Sesión, eh, Entrar, Sesión Principal. Salir de la Sala. Salir de la sala, uh -huh, something like that. Okay. okay. <laughs> Bye. Okay, guys. Eh, vi que la mayoría ya había terminado la parte escrita. So, ahora lo que vamos a hacer es, so, vamos a hacer las preguntas. Las mismas preguntas que usted escribió, se las va a hacer a su compañero y su compañero le tiene que responder. Y viceversa. Cuando usted ya le haya hecho las 10 preguntas, van a cambiar el rol. El otro le va a hacer las preguntas y de allí el otro le va a responder. ¿Preguntas? 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 ¿No? Ok. Let's go. Vamos a cambiar parejas. No, teacher. Ok. Vamos a cambiar grupos. Let's go. Va usted, María. Sí, ahorita. 
Guadu Hall, Guadu Expression. We are, we are you like, lady? Where is the computer? Where is the vision? Is the printer? Do um, is small? The row is in the house. Me faltan dos más. Solamente. Sí, solo es. Así que la voy a volver a, a repetir. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, perdón. Sí, así. Practiquemos así. Ok. Um, are you eating salad? Is he playing soccer? Is he going to the market? Are you a doctor? Am I a dancing? Uh, what time is it? What happened to you? Where do you live? How old are you? What do you do? Ahora What do you have? What do occupation? We are the lady. We is the computer. We are the friend. If you will be there, do you have is the small? Do you have is in the house? Solamente esas, esas tengo ahí. Ok. A mí, a mí me cuesta la pronunciación, así que... ¿Cómo? A mí me cuesta mucho la pronunciación. ¿no? Ay, pero eso es a todos al inicio, así que no se preocupe. Teacher, ya practicamos. Are y'all finished? Yeah, teacher. Ok. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Bye, teacher. See you later, Carla.